Hello everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, now tuned back on into your builds. On the last episode of your builds, we showed you some of these awesome pixel art builds that are all around us. You can see we got Goku, Majora, Snorlax, Promplan, etc. It's actually really awesome that all these builds have come together and they're all in one place. And I'm really proud of everybody on the who built these. However, today we're going to be taking a look at some new ones. Uh, to start us off, let's turn off the cloud layer. View clouds off. It's the Powerpuff Girls. Now, I was really surprised when I saw these, mostly because when I thought about the Powerpuff Girls, I thought that they would need a lot more like space and stuff, but they were all filled into one plot, actually, and uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Let's uh, take a look at the sign here. This is the Powerpuff Girls, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup by Linz, of course. Linz, who um, made um, our Marilyn Monroe over there. So I was really surprised by these, mostly not only because of these stained glass, which, as you know, I'm a huge fan of, but mostly because of like how well they were able to fit in with just the limited number of pixels. Because while this looks like a lot, it's not that much in, in terms of creating like a, a, a fully realized pixel art cartoon character. So uh, many shouts to Lens for <clears throat> doing a great job of taking, taking, taking advantage of all the space that uh, she had. Over here, saying a little bit more, uh, I'd say, I don't want to say creative, but more, more. it's more, uh, how do I say it? It's taking more liberties than, than the Powerpuff Girls. For example, this is by Ilula. It's um, the Wind Waker, obviously. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is just a bit gruff after Zelda Fun. Uh, I'll be better soon, I'm sure. Uh, but as you can see here, this is the King of Lions and Link on it. Uh, this is actually a common promo image, but instead... They simplified it down and made it like their own. Uh, and the best part is it is 3D, so there are uh, some multiple layers. Oh, see you. See you, okay. And as you can see, uh, there's waves that are splashing up. Just that little bit of additional um, 3D really makes it pop. Um, I think they could have done well with a, a third layer where the, where the sky is pushed back one, but that's fine. Uh, the King of Lions face actually looks really good. Um, it's hard to really tell from a, from, a, from close up, but that's definitely the King of Lions. They did a great job at really making this, this uh, simple pixel art come alive. Um, oh, is there actually a third layer that I didn't see? Oh, I see. They used the same glass and had it put behind, and this is the, the sail right here. Um, we don't really get to see the sail because uh, it's flat, but... Oh, you know, the sail right here. This, that, that's the mast. I'm so dumb. Look, there's the sail. Da 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 I'm a dummy. And it says right here, Link riding the King of Red Lions. So thank you very much, Dilola, for this uh, beautiful build. I really enjoyed just like seeing the like, sun different. Like it's not a straight like copy it over. It's a taking a little bit of liberty to make it make it look really cool. Over here we have something that's obviously amazing. <laughs> this is from Boba two thousand and seven, who's on right now. Uh, Boba has been loving this month's theme. But as you can see, it is a full recreation of Bowser's Castle from Super Mario World, and it's just a stunning piece of work. Like, just the very subtle uses of the blocks and just to... Because he had to come up with the backside of this all himself because you don't see the backside of the sprite in the game, uh, nor the sides. Uh, so there's a lot of liberties that have to be taken here, um, and I really enjoy how much the, the, the Boba did with this. Uh, you can definitely see uh, just a very simple Bowser sign. But it all comes out of looking really good. I love the multiple towers. The 3D effect on it is really, like, there. Uh, this this style of build is actually kind of amazing, and I, I'd be interested in talking to Bo about actually taking this to the next level and building some like full things uh, with it. Uh, one thing there's a there's an issue. Uh, there's a full one two three four uh, four five six uh, or five six seven eight like recreation of Bowser's Castle that was part of this. Unfortunately, the build team didn't get the that part moved over, so we're gonna have to come back to it next week and show you guys the full uh, scope of this build. Um, but just to give you an idea, there is a parkour section within, and I can't really parkour. I wasn't ready for it, but uh, I can show you a little bit. Oh, fell off. But there would be lava in here, and it would look really good. So I'm excited to see how, what this looks like when it's all uh, copied over. But just, just the outside is enough. We, like, screw everything else in there. This is just amazing, and I'm, I'm truly honored to have Boba on the server. So Boba apparently also said, working on the most complicated pixel art ever. So if that's not enough to get you hyped after seeing that, then I don't know what will be. Uh, here we go. We have this build of Mario and Luigi. And let me just come up here to the sign. This is Nether Dude 72nd sister. All right, so Nether Dude 72 sister made this. 
It's a really interesting, uh, or very simple build uh, of just Mario and Luigi. But what really, really struck me was the use of the 3D here to make Luigi kind of coming out of the pipe. Uh, this, just that subtle two block difference really made it uh, pop a little bit more. And good use of the blacks. Uh, the blacks really makes a lot of things pop. I don't think this is 3D, is it? No, this is not 3D. It, it almost seemed like it just because the uses of this, uh, I believe, black uh, stained clay. It really uh, came out really well. And, of course, some great spraying of Mario and Luigi, of course, taking from Super Mario Brothers, the original. And they did a great job, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, these ground textures, I don't know so much about these ground textures. Uh, apparently, these are legit, so I, I'll, I won't criticize them too much, but they feel weird. They feel weird, I don't know. Anyways, who do we have over here? Who's this guy? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look here at the top. We have Zhang Fei, Romance of the Three Kingdoms from NES right here. And this was built by, I believe I know the name. Yeah, it was JM, J, or J, JM Jimmy. I was going home, Jimmy. Jimmy170. And I saw this build, and I was like, you know what? This has to come over, mostly because um, it does land that a lot of builds haven't done. And that's have an extremely limited color palette. And I believe this might be from the actual game, uh, this exact sprite. But I, I couldn't help their notice the detail. Because when you're working with pixel art, one thing that I wanted to mention. Oh, there's another dude. and um, or, or perhaps another dude's sister. Greetings. Um, the one thing that you see with a lot of builds is how they have to pay attention to the colors that they use a lot. They have to pay very much attention to what colors they use in a line to make sure it looks really nice. Um, but... With this, you have to pay attention to only two colors, and having those two colors uh, like perfect is, is really difficult. Because just imagine going along like a line like this, uh, so it's like white, black, double white, double black, white, double black, and then there's like all this. It's, it, it must be really difficult to make this happen and like not mess it up and have it be exactly correct. Um, not, uh, I don't know, possibly. Recording right now, smiley face. <laughs> Hopefully that will signal to them that I can't chat right now because I'm talking to the YouTube audience. And we'll chat later. So down here and over here we have our last build uh, of, the, uh, of the day. Which uh, you may be wondering, what the heck is this? But don't worry, it's something very cool. Uh, let's, let's come down here. This is by Organics. This is actually a recreation of the Super MC Gamer poster. Uh, I have a poster that I, I send out to um, patrons and, and stuff. There's a certain patron goal uh, that I, I have this poster. And I also have this same art on a mouse pad, um, and among, amongst other things. And uh, well, I saw this and I was like, whoa, that's my poster. So Organics had fully created, recreated my poster. Um, and there's a lot of things you can't really... Um, Tell what they are, so I'll try to name them here. Here we have me. I'm holding the Wind Waker. You can see that, that white line there. And I'm riding my, my blue Yoshi. It, it was probably pretty hard to make the blue Yoshi stick out from the, the, the triple triangle in the background. But it still uh, did an amazing job just making this, even, even just me riding the Yoshi with the Wind Waker. Just that limited number of pixels to make that like truly pop really works. Up here we have Gaspar, the Steam Stage, and he has his hand over a crystal. So that's what you can see there. Here we have the blessed lady holding a canteen of water, and she's yelling bless. Unfortunately, we couldn't render the text bless because it is just yellow squares. Um, here we have grandma with duct tape over her mouth. <laughs> Good use of gravel for duct tape. I, was, I saw that, and I, and I giggled. I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. And that's grandma offering you some soup. Over here we have Reggie fils -Aimé. This is probably the derpiest part of it. Here's Reggie, uh, and he has a wee remote in his hand. It's a little hard to tell. And he has a, a Yoshi on his on his head who is sniffing a red coin. Um, and then down here we have Link in a barrel about to be launched into outer space. And then below that we have Link also doing a jump. He's going behind the door of time. Uh, it's actually the door of timer. Yep, see so it says here, door of timer skip, technically is what that says. And it's looking pretty good, and I'm very proud of it. So thank you very much to Organics for this build. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe, <laughs> like like try to like make it real for you guys that don't know what it looks like. But uh, I was really surprised that he was able to recreate my entire poster uh, like this inside such a limited number of pixels and make it actually very recognizable as the Super MC Gamer poster. Um, so many shout outs go out to him. Uh, thank you, Organics. And of course, Organics was at Zeldathon as well. So thank you for him to, for coming out. 
Anyway, that's all the, the builds that we're going to feature for this week on your builds. Again, if you want to join the server, you can go on over to my Patreon page. It's a $5 pledge a month, which helps us pay for the servers. And then you'll get access the, the, the month after you pledge. So it's a, a really fun thing. So you can join us for whatever our next month's theme will be. I'll give you a little spoiler now. It has to do with water, so get your excitement for that. Um, oh, and we, we have a visitor here. Let's, let's pop down. There's another dude. All right, so thank you all for watching your builds. We'll see you guys next time.